This is a valve repair video for the General Pump Model HTCK and KF series. The tools needed for this repair is an impact wrench, a slide hammer with a 10 mm adapter, a torque wrench, a 10 mm hex drive, a round nose tool, a pick, a 3 8 inch ratchet, a flathead screwdriver, and a soft rubber mallet. Use the impact wrench with 10 mm hex to remove the seven retaining bolts from the inlet valve cover. Thread the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter into the inlet valve plug. Tap the slide hammer to remove the plug. Remove the plug from the slide hammer. Thread the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter into the inlet valve. Tap the slide hammer to remove the valve. Remove the valve from the slide hammer. Use a pick to remove the O-ring and the backup ring from the manifold. Use the impact wrench with 10 mm hex to loosen the seven outlet valve retaining bolts. Thread the slide hammer with a 10 mm adapter into the outlet valve plug. Tap the slide hammer to remove the plug. Remove the plug from the slide hammer. Thread the slide hammer with a 10 mm adapter into the outlet valve. Tap the slide hammer to remove the valve. Remove the valve from the slide hammer. Use the pick to remove the O-ring and the backup ring. At times, the valve seat will not come out with the valve removal. If this happens, insert the pusher tool and thread the slide hammer into the valve. Remove the pusher tool handle. Tap on the slide hammer to remove the valve seat. To help differentiate the two valves, the inlet valve spring on the left is typically silver in color. The outlet valve spring on the right is thicker, has more tension, and is black in color. The following process is to be used for both the inlet and outlet valves. Use a flathead screwdriver to gently pry the valve cage from the seat. Remove the cage, the spring, the guide, and the poppet. Inspect all of the components for excessive wear, pitting, or damage, and replace if necessary. After inspection, Install the poppet to the seat, the valve guide, the spring, and the cage back onto the assembly. Lock the reassembled valve into place by tapping it lightly with a soft rubber mallet. It is important to ensure the plastic valve guide is centered in the cage. After assembly, push the valve to test that the plastic valve guide is properly centered and moves freely through the hole of the valve cage. Install the backup ring into the outlet valve manifold. Use the round head tool to help ensure that it is properly seated. Install the O-ring into the outlet valve manifold. Use the round head tool to help ensure that it is properly seated. Thread the outlet valve onto the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Insert the valve into the manifold. 
Tap the slide hammer until the valve is fully seated in the manifold. Remove the slide hammer. Thread the outlet valve plug onto the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Insert the plug into the manifold. Tap the slide hammer until the plug is fully seated in the manifold. Remove the slide hammer. Install the outlet valve plate. Tighten all of the bolts with a torque wrench using the proper specs. Starting with the inside and working out. This will help ensure proper seating. Install the backup ring into the inlet valve manifold. Use the round head tool to help ensure that it is properly seated. Install the O-ring into the inlet valve manifold. Use the round head tool to help ensure that it is properly seated. Thread the inlet valve onto the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Insert the valve into the manifold. Tap the slide hammer until the valve is fully seated in the manifold. Remove the slide hammer. Thread the inlet valve plug onto the slide hammer with a 10 millimeter adapter. Insert the plug into the manifold. Tap the slide hammer until the plug is fully seated in the manifold. Remove the slide hammer. Install the inlet valve plate. Use a 3 8 inch drive ratchet with the 14 millimeter socket attached to tighten all the bolts. Tighten all of the bolts with the torque wrench using the proper specs.